Here we have a question on the density and volume of a prism. It's the last question on the GCC foundation paper, so it's a grade C question, and it's worth five marks, so it's quite involved. So do have a go at this question. Pause the video now if you haven't tried it already. Okay, so we have a shape here. It looks like this question might be to do with area or perimeter or something, but as we read it, we see that it's a di the diagram shows the cross-section of a solid prism. Now I've had to pre-draw this because I didn't have a very good go at uh, drawing it by hand. So what that means is you have a 3D shape um, where this is the end piece, if you like, and it's and it's the same shape all the way through. So it's a solid 3D prism, which means it's the same shape all the way through. Uh, the length of the prism is two meters. So you're told this is seven centimeters, seven centimeters, and two centimeters. So this length. Uh, that's actually the two centimeters there. So this length here, although it looks it doesn't look very big on my drawing, is actually two meters long. Which we should note is two hundred centimeters because the rest of it's done in centimeters. Uh, the prism is made from metal. The density of the metal is eight grams per centimeter cube. Work out the mass of the prism. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is work out the volume of the prism. Once we know the volume, we know how much it weighs per centimeter cube. So we need to work out how many centimeter cubes this, this shape is going to take up. So how are we going to do that? Well, if we if we treat this like a little bit like an area question and chop it up into sections. So if I take this bottom section, which is seven centimeters by two centimeters. Okay, so that's 14 centimeters squared for that end, that part of it. This top part is two by seven. So again, no, that's not seven, is it? Because that's two here. So we need to be careful this length here is going to be 5. So 5 times 2 is 10 centimeters. So the total area of this end of the shape is 10 plus 14, which is 24 centimeters squared. Now for a prism, if you take the end, the cross section, and multiply by however long it is, that gives you its volume. So 24 times by 2 meters, which is 200 centimeters, so times by 200, 224s are 48, and then we've got two zeros on the end, so 4,800 centimeters cubed would be the volume. Okay, so next, set, next thing we've got to do is work out the mass of the prism, so eight, each one of those centimeter cubes is worth 8 grams, so we've got 48, uh, sorry, 4,800 times by 8. Now, I would suggest maybe the quickest way to do that is just do 48 times 8. Um, you could double it three times, that would be the same as times by 8, but 8, 8 is so 64, and 8 falls 32, plus the 6 is 38. So 3, 8, 4, for 8, 48, and then you've got the two zeros, so 38,400 grams. Now, it doesn't say that you have to put the answer into kilograms, but you can do if you want. But uh, 38,400 grams. If we were asked to put it into kilograms, we realize that a kilograms are 1,000 grams, so that's 38.4 kilograms. That's not necessary in this question. So five marks for all of that. So we've got one mark for seeing some sort of 7 times 2 or 2 times 5. That would give you one method mark. And then seeing that you've added those two things together, even if one of them is incorrect, then you would get a method mark. And then timesing that answer by 200 will get you another method mark. Um, but you should have got one method mark before, so if your answer is incorrect here, um, you may or may not get the method mark for this. If you've got nothing right so far, but times by 200 you wouldn't get it. But if you've got something right so far, you would get the extra method mark. And then... Um, times in by 8 gives you the fourth method mark and one answer mark for the answer. Um, there is a special case here if the digits 3, 8, 4 are seen anywhere in the question there's three marks straight off for just being able to see that because you must have done something right to have got to that point. So it's quite an involved question, quite tricky but there's a lot of marks along the way so if you see a question to do with prisms and you're not quite sure what it's about work out the volume and that volume to get to that point there would have got you at least three marks so worth a try